As a younger person, I was a football player and I was drafted by the Ottawa Rough Riders in the Canadian Football League. But I didn't make it. I, I lasted one month, as, as they often say, that I had a cup of coffee in the CFL. Played one game and then I got cut. The strength and power of the human body, its wonder, its complexity, its limitations. Having failed as a, as a professional athlete, not making the CFL, I felt it was kind of my responsibility to try and help people to improve. As a Canadian, I'd love to see the Canadians do well at the Olympics. Uh, for example, uh, Gushu, the, uh, the Gushu team won the gold medal in the last Winter Olympics. Mark Nichols was one of our um, kinesiology students who was on the team. And Brad and his team came to us uh, one year before the Olympics. And uh, Brad was uh, working with uh, Dr. Baz Kavanaugh, a sports psychologist in our faculty. And he wanted to put together the best training program possible so they could make it to the Olympics and win the gold medal. And what we did was we actually put Brad and Mark and, and the rest of the team on instability training devices. So because, of course, when you're curling, you're on ice, so you're unstable. Forces go down, your strength goes down when you're unstable. So if you can improve your balance, then you can exert more forces or you're stronger. And of course, I'm not the reason they won the gold medal, but I was just one small part of a team that helped them put together very specific plans to ensure that they're going to be the best that they could be. Most of the, uh, the human kinetics faculty was all there watching, watching the, uh, the match. And so, of course, the, the place went wild uh, when they uh, won the gold medal. And, of course, tears were flowing when Brad was phoning his mother. And uh, the place was just bedlam when, uh, when, when they won. Allied Health Services is really cool because it, it initially began as a, a kinesiology clinic. So somewhere for the kinesiology students to practice. The idea eventually evolved to say, okay, that's great, we offer kinesiology within the School of Human Kinetics and Recreation, but we also offer other academic programs as well. So what could we create that's going to incorporate all of those programs and can give back to the education and the research within the, the, the school, but can also offer services to the community that aren't currently out there? Um, and then also collaborate with other faculties and other schools at MUN. You know, we're working a lot with the biochemistry department looking at increasing uh, how can we offer basal metabolic rate testing to the community? That's something that's currently not available within our community. So we're working with the biochemistry department. We've been in talks with the Childhood Obesity Clinic at the Janeway Hospital to see, okay, if we're going to offer that with the biochemistry department, that's something that might be of interest to you as well. I think it's really neat to come to work every day and be able to say that I'm in a building with some of the most, the brightest minds, uh, not only in the country, but I would say probably in the world as well when it comes to, to some of the aspects that that we deal with in the, the Human Kinetics and Recreation Department. I did a number of different courses through the HKR faculty and it exposed me to a lot of different aspects and I realized okay well there's not just doing gym, there's not just being in a classroom. And I hit my last co-op term and it was with Special Olympics and then through that I was like okay well this is potentially something that I could actually make a living at while also enjoying and also making a difference. And then finish co-op term, get a call from Special Olympics, say, do you want to work for us? And I'm like, all right. I've got to say one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had was uh, at the 2003 World Games in Dublin, Ireland. The entire country embraced the Special Olympics. We were at the opening ceremonies for the games and there was close to 80,000 people in the stands. There was over 6,000 athletes uh, that were marching in. You had U2, you had Pierce Brosnan, you had Nelson Mandela, you had, it's just, it was just an overwhelming experience that you're just like, wow, it's amazing that I'm part of this. Uh, and then still to this day, it's the moment where I'm next to an athlete, he comes up, starts dancing with me, and I'm like, okay, well, there's 5,000 other dancing athletes, so this is not that special. And then I, talking to his coach after, and he said, I've never seen that athlete interact with other individuals like he was at that time. This is making a difference in their lives in a way that I don't know if any other organization could. It's because they're allowed to achieve, they're allowed to be leaders, and nowhere else do they get that. Memorial University School of Human Kinetics and Recreation. Set a new personal best.